Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm here to share with you an unboxing of the new Coco Daisy uh, collection. I believe it is the Take Flight collection and I'm excited for this because it's very springy, the colors are beautiful and I can't wait to share the kits with you. Um, today I'm matching my box. <laughs> I have a yellow sweatshirt on, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and share with you the kits that I received and I will have a process video right after. So like I said, this is called the Take Flight Collection. That's my 3x4 card that came with the kit. Okay, so let's take a look at the 3x4 stamp set. So you can buy the stamp set separately or if you get the Modern Memory Kit, you would get the stamp set with that. So it's the, you know, the card kit basically. It is so cute. There's some air balloons and you have the It's a Good Day to Be Happy, Nothing But Blue Skies, Feel the Sun Shine. So pretty. I'm in love with that cloud. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use that cloud in my daily journal. It's just so cute. I'm going to leave this till the end. That is the Traveler's Notebook kit. And we're just going to start with the smaller kits. This is the Daisy add-on sticker kit. This is, I, I, I don't know, it's one of my favorite sticker kits just because it's so simple. Um, you just get enough stickers for the month. And obviously, I don't use all of them throughout the month, but it's great to have the sticker sheets, the extras for me to use in all my projects. Uh, so this first one is a beautiful vellum sticker sheet. Love the colors this month. Love the air balloons. So pretty. When it rains, uh, look for rainbows. Really cute. This one is uh, on white sticker paper. And I love their sticker sheets because honestly, they are amazing quality. I am so, so impressed with these sticker sheets. You got the labels and the beautiful blue alphas. Those are so cute. Okay, so that's the add-on sticker sheet, the Daisy add-on sticker sheet. And so I'm gonna add that right there. And let's take a look at the journaling kit. I love this kit. I think this is just perfect for any journaler who wants a fresh kit every month to add to their journals or their journal pages, basically. But anyways, let's take a look. Obviously, you get the 4 by 6 card with the prompts. Some fun prompts here. There's uh, things I love most about spring are... If you had a garden, what would you plant in it? Some great little prompts. Again, I say this all the time. I'm not a prompt kind of person when it comes to daily journaling. I just journal about my day and that's it. But if you like to use prompts, um, it's great to have. You also get washi tape in this kit. And um, I am loving this month's washi because it's so simple, so pretty. It's just dots. And if you know me, you know I love me a simple washi. And it's like that really pretty slim washi, which is perfect. You do get two rub-on sheets. Love how big and colorful these uh, like icons and elements are. Oh my gosh, I love that. It says Food for Thought. That's the name of my new stamp set. It's so cute. Really, really pretty. And then we're going to check out the stickers. Okay, so you always get a sticker sheet with the days of the week and the numbers. And the days of the week stickers uh, will be enough for the whole month, basically. There's some air balloons that is so cute and some clouds with the days of the week. That's really cute. Okay, and then we have our vellum sticker sheet with the washi strips as well. Loving the blobs, so good rainbows, umbrellas, again, another vellum sheet. You do also get the two large pattern pieces. Again, these are on vellum sticker sheets. So you can either cut these apart, use them as washi, or you can use the whole sheet on your project. 
really pretty. Again, loving the colors this month. This is a favorite. I love that they are outlined. I think they're outlined when you remove them. Yes, they are. I love that. So it kind of looks like something I would write myself, but not in that perfect, basically. So I'm really excited for those alphas and can't wait to use them. Okay, so that is the journal kit. I'm going to put these away to give me space for the Traveler's Notebook kit because those kits come with so much and I want the space for it. So now I have the space to share with you all the things. This is the Traveler's Notebook kit. And like I said, you get a lot in this kit. Uh, I'm going to like, just go through every single piece so you can see it all. But this is the washi tape. And it's in this really beautiful orange. It's so pretty. It's like a grid, but you can barely see it. It's a white grid with that orangey yellow. Really pretty. Again, I'm like totally matching this month's theme. Some raindrop enamels. So cute. And then the stamp set. You have some rain boots, umbrellas, kites. That little bird, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have the birds. I think those are so cute. And then you have uh, Rain or Shine, Springtime. Let's take a look at the die cut pack. Uh, I think I say this all the time, but just a reminder, because I know a lot of people forget, well, I'm not gonna take all of it out, but a lot of people forget that these are like sticky adhesive backing. And so you have some rain cloud rain clouds some little labels yellow rain boots red and some yellow ones umbrellas so pretty and these are going to be perfect for documenting spring so let's put these back the little birds they're so pretty and it has fly away okay i have to figure out how to use the little birds on my spread because they're just so cute. Anyways, you get the fabric tags and these are just so pretty. Um, I just really think, like I'm very impressed with Coco Daisy. I've mentioned this before, like I have never bought one of their kits and then, you know, starting to get their kits now, I'm really, really impressed with the quality of their products and the quantity, like you get so much in one kit. And if you were just uh, subscribed to Coco Daisy, that would be enough for the whole month. Okay, I'm so sorry, I got cut off somewhere. I know my camera stopped filming and I finished unboxing and then noticed that it stopped filming at me sharing the alphas. So that was really odd, I don't know why I did that, but I'm gonna redo it because you guys have to see this cute kit. Anyways, uh, you do get the Puffy Alphas in blue. They're very pretty and matte. You also get some Traveler's Notebook size paper, which is exciting. So if you don't like, let's say, a page in your Traveler's Notebook, you can cover it up with one of these papers. Or if you don't want to stamp out a title, you can use the whole page for that. It's just fun to have, and they're just beautiful. Very, very pretty. I love that one and I really like that one. So those are some of those papers. There's also larger papers as well. Let me go through those while I'm at it. So you get six sheets of pattern paper and these are the A sides and these are the B sides and they're all so pretty. Loving that one. And I think there's a a pattern in the Traveler's Notebook of that. And I really, really like that with the t-shirt weather, and then sunshine and happiness. So cute. Really good papers this month. This I'm very excited for. This is a pencil board. So basically, if your Traveler's Notebook gets bulky, you can slide this behind your page and use it to have more like a sturdiness to your page. Um, also, I used to use one for my Traveler's Notebook for stamping because it would get too bulky and things just don't stamp out clearly. So I used to use a pencil board and I think I'm going to switch to this one because it's white. I love that it's white. Uh, you guys know I love simplicity 
and this is going to be perfect for that. I would also use it in my daily journal. Last but not least is the ribbon sheet. And I'm again loving the air balloons and the colors are so pretty. It's like watercolor and it's just beautiful. Okay, let's take a look at the traveler's notebook itself. There's some really, really pretty pages in here. This one's gorgeous. Loving that. Love the floral. There's one here that I really, really like. That one's gorgeous too. I think this would be perfect to stamp out a title, maybe add some photos. I just love that it's already done for you. You have the clusters at the top and at the bottom. So really you don't have to do much, but oh, here it is. That one is beautiful so fun again love the colors and again i love that pattern i'm really excited for this kit as always i will be adding all the links in the description box for you i haven't decided what i'm going to be using today which kit i'll be using and in what project but if you want to see my process just keep watching and uh, hopefully i can inspire you on how to use your Coco Daisy kits this month. Okay, let's create a traveler's notebook layout using my Coco Daisy traveler's notebook kit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take apart my traveler's notebook. I just basically remove the staples from the center and I usually trim down my pages because I end up using these traveler's notebooks in my disc bound traveler's notebook cover. And you'll see that at the end of the video, I do share how I punch the holes and add it to my disc bound cover. Anyways, I had a page in mind. I really like this bold title and it says, you make me happy when skies are gray. I felt like it matched my photos and my story really, really well. Basically, Stitch hates the rain because he knows he doesn't get to play, he doesn't get to spend time outside as much as he would like to. So he always gets really sad when it's raining. And on that day, the sun came out a little bit after it rained, so he was really excited about it. I wanted to create a collage of three photos. And then the fourth box would be full of these beautiful die cuts from the Traveler's Notebook kit. I really wanted to use as many as I could. And the only way I could think of using all these die cuts and it not get too busy was to fill in my fourth box with these die cuts. Now, once I kind of figured out the, the layout or where I want to add the die cuts, I go ahead and stick down my photos and now I can kind of play with these die cuts to create a fun little cluster in that box. I did use this red label that says small details to add a border to my box right at the top. And then I'm going to just go to town with this. I'm going to fill in the box with die cuts, with stamps. I do like to stamp in black ink when I have a lot of color just because it helps mute down all the colors within a small space. So you'll see me kind of use my stamp set to fill in the gaps in between the die cuts and to also mellow everything down. But I also wanted to mention that I added this large umbrella to my title and I added it to the top, but while I was working on my cluster, I felt like I needed to move it to the bottom just because there was too much yellow at the top of my layout. And I didn't like that, it was kind of on the same level. So once I'm done with my cluster, I will move that umbrella to the bottom just so I can kind of balance out the colors and also to bring in the yellow to the bottom of my layout as well.
I'm almost done with my cluster. I just want to trim off the edges and I will use some of the flowers from the stamp set to fill in the gaps. So I just basically stamp it with black ink. I think I end up stamping with uh, like a really pretty blue ink as well. And then I can move on to the bottom portion of my spread. So like I said earlier, I wasn't happy with where my umbrella was sitting on the spread. It just didn't look right and it wasn't balanced well enough for me. So I end up moving it to the bottom and I'm going to use that gray label as a little uh, add on to my journaling but I felt like I needed a subtitle. So I'm going to use the puffy alpha stickers from the kit to spell out stitch. And that's going to be my little subtitle right above my journaling. I did want to mention that I usually don't use a ruler, but I have been better at it. So I decided to try it again this time around. And I'm just going to add my alphas to the ruler so I'm sure that my subtitle is centered basically. Once I add stitch to my spread, I'm going to stick down my label and my journaling as well. So at this point, I'm thinking I'm done, but I looked at my little umbrella that's sitting all lonely next to my large title. Maybe I need to stamp something next to it. So I end up stamping springtime and I'm happy I did that because again, the black ink helps mellow things down. I also decided to add a little label right above Stitch's photo. I just felt like it was really heavy on the bottom and it needed to be balanced out. So I went with a die cut for that and I used that space to stamp out the date. To finish off my spread, I'm gonna use some of these uh, flower rub-ons. They're in yellow and I thought they would be perfect next to my title and it will add some of that yellow to the bottom portion of my spread as well. But anyways, you guys, I am done. I'm just grabbing my arc punch to punch out my holes for my disc bound traveler's notebook. I'm going to add my layout into my discs and call my layout done. I love this month's hits from Coco Daisy. They're so bright. They're so springy. And I really, really enjoyed working with them. Anyways, as always, I do have a discount code with Coco Daisy. It is linked in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.